In our last video, we saw how you can create an internet identity and also stake your ICP for rewards. In this video, we want to see how to calculate your rewards, how much you're making from your staking, how to calculate it, and also we want to see how to maximize your rewards. So let's get right to it. So once your neurons are already started and your ICP has staked, we want to make sure we have the maximum rewards. And how do you do that? Uh, this is based on your voting power. How much power you have in voting can yield more rewards. And if you don't have enough ICP, which is like one of the criteria for having more rewards, uh, you can increase the time. At first, I set the time a little uh, smaller, six months, but that also reduces your voting power. So in order to have more voting power, you need more time, uh, staking time. So you can increase the dissolved delay uh, to eight years. If you do that, you have more voting power. You have more voting power here, even though you don't have too many ICPs. And that's one way to maximize your rewards. And once you have that, um, another thing to take note of is how to calculate the maturity. The maturity right here is uh, the percentage of your gains. Uh, and this is relative to how much ICP you have. So this is a percentage that I've made in the, the last seven, eight days. I started staking on the 25th so 0.29 percent uh if you want to find out how many icp i can get from that based on this uh stake right here uh we can calculate that so we do 0 0.0029 times 4 4. And then we'll find that I have 0 0.01276. This is the ICP quantity that I've earned during this period. So we, we can pay attention to that. Calculating this percentage, I have to add another zero, two zeros. So 0 0.0029 times the staked ICP, then I'll get the ICP that I've earned. And in order to reach a point where I can withdraw this ICP, um, it has to reach one ICP. Once it gets to one ICP, I'll see this gray spawn neuron. It's going to probably turn to green or blue right here. It's probably going to turn to blue and then I'll be able to spawn a new neuron. Uh, spawn a new neuron. Once that happens, um, I have the option to withdraw it. But when you spawn a new neuron, it has, uh, based on the information, it has only 24 hours delay, which means that within 24, after 24 hours, you will have the option to to disperse the icp in that neuron and dispersing it is like probably just sending it to your main wallet sending it back to your main wallet or you can where you can decide what to do with it if you want to stake increase your stake or you want to send it to an exchange or whatever you want to do with it And that's exactly how you can calculate your ICP. Um, 
uh, how much ICP you've earned. It just times the percentage right here times the quantity, uh, quantity of ICP that you have. And then you have the ICP that you have earned. And until it reaches one ICP, then you can withdraw it. And in order to have more voting power, you need to increase your dissolved delay to maybe four years, eight years. But the more you have, the more voting power you have, then the more rewards you get. And then once we have this 80 years dissolved delay, if you start to unlock, it starts to count this 80 years right here. If I, I don't unlock, it means it could last forever until I unlock, then I'll be, it will start to count down from this time right here. Um, that's that on staking your ICP rewards and calculating your, your maturity. And that was pretty straightforward. I hope it was helpful and you learned something from it. And if you have any questions, there's always a comment section waiting for you to drop it. And then we'll see where. Thank you for watching. See you again.